And today's Red Dame top tip is on fodder management and planning. Uh, obviously, cows and dairy cows eat food every day of the year, but in, well, in most countries you're not going to have growth of, of your different feeds all throughout the year. So you need to plan when, uh, when you have the different feeds and what feeds are available. And obviously, most importantly, what feed is required. Uh, per, per cow. So um, what we work on on average is a very roughly, there's more scientific ways of doing this, but a very rough guide is four uh, reasonable cows producing around 20 to 25 liters. You need around 20 kgs of dry matter per cow per day. So it's very important you understand what dry matter is. And a, a simple explanation would be from one kg of silage that's 30% dry matter, you get 300 grams of dry matter. So you've always got to work everything back to dry matter. Hay, for example, would be pretty much 100% dry matter. So you, you need to, whichever feed you're looking at, you need to work its dry matter. As you can see, this is a uh, Zimbabwean winter. There's very little gra natural grazing. So uh, what we've had to, we have to irrigate uh, and we do grow some some grass on this farm. So we start our, our calculations from the grazing. How much grass are we producing? That's our cheapest form of food. And how much have we got per cow? And for how big an area can we afford to give them per day for them to get around? And by the time the grass has grown back up and is ready for grazing. Here we've got a group of cows uh, coming to get their allocation of grass. Um, on this farm we limited to how much grass so uh, that they get to come in for about an hour, an hour and a half in the morning and in the afternoon. They've come in for their afternoon feed now where they'll graze us down to the right level that we think is best for recovery of, of this dry grass pasture. Okay, so here's our other source of uh, feed and this silage here is worked out of the 40% dry matter. We've tested it and uh, this is obviously a very good option to make up for any shortfall in your pasture. Uh, in the tropics it's hard to beat uh, maize silage as an economical and uh, excellent uh, dairy feed. So here we, we bag out the number of kgs that we need for the day to make up the, what we require. So in our case we're getting 6 kgs dry matter from the pasture, 6 kgs from the silage and the 1 kg from the hay. So your balance is going to come from the concentrate. What's very important is that you have enough silage. So as you can see here, we do all our silage in sausages and, and it's very easy to measure. We know how many kgs are in every meter, in every meter of silage. Yeah, we, we can measure between each of those lines is one meter and we know in a meter we've got about 800 kgs of silage. So we keep track and work out our daily usage and how many days until the next harvest to make sure we're not going to run out of forage before the year is out. The other feeds that uh, will help to make up our 20 kgs of dry matter is some hay. Um, this is some pretty ordinary hay that we've swept up from the Capri pasture and uh, just find when the cows are on a lot of very green grass they do need some to get some hay into them. And, uh, in our case, about a kg of our 20 kgs a day is coming from this hay rack. We measure how much we put in, see how much is left, and you're working out, again, divide by the number of cows, how much of their dry matter is coming from here. Something very important to remember, and often forgotten when you're doing your forage calculations for the farm for the year, is all the followers. It's typical that you have more followers on the farm than dairy cows, and although they won't eat as much as a dairy cow, they still eat significant amount of your forage. So, for example, your silage and your hay, you've got to take all your followers into consideration. One of the things that, uh, the simple way of working it out is the two and a half um, percent of their body weight in dry matter is what they're going to need. Whether it's a small heifer or a bigger one, you're going to be looking at two and a half percent of the body weight you're going to need in, in dry matter. So, Take that into consideration when you work out your silage and your hay, your hay stocks, as you can see over there.